This investigation took us back to the city of West where we were called to a house that was built in the late 1800s by Samuel Paget. It was here that he set down his roots, married, and raised a family. An old water well that sits beside the house was their sole means of cooking and bathing. The well is located right next to the boys' bedroom where a lot of the activity is occurring. It has long since been abandoned. When we first go into an investigation, we take readings with certain instruments to set the baseline readings for the night. One of these instruments is a K2 meter which displays electromagnetic field readings which is believed that the spirits give off. As we were taking readings, we started getting some high spikes in the living room for no apparent reason, and they seemed to be moving. We followed it into the front bedroom where it mysteriously disappeared. Uh, that's louder. That's too loud. Hmm. That's a lot louder. Which, which side did they officially shoot? That's mine. Do you ever have any weird greens? Do you sleep with that panel? You come back. Except for that one hit you had just a second ago. <laughs> that was him. Now that's all ghost adventures. Oh. <laughs> wow. Did I say kill back? <laughs> I have to yeah. edit that out. <laughs> See, this is back. Yeah. We decided to try something that we saw on a TV show where one person is sequestered in a room by themselves with headphones on, listening to the spirit box, while another person in another room asks a question. Now, Cindy cannot hear their questions, but it's repeating what she hears on the spirit box. We're going to the boys' room. Whoever's going to ask the question, I, I guess y'all need to be in the hall. No, I'm talking about for the this. She's going to be asking a question, thank you. Or, or do you want one of us to ask questions? I thought they were separated. They weren't in the same room. They are. They're not. They're not. You're what you're going to do is go sit in the bedroom. With that, okay, okay, and, and then Becky is going to sit outside somewhere. Or with, you can't hear me. Yeah, where you can. Okay. okay. So where are you going to sit at in there? Are you going to sit on the bed, or or what would be more comfortable for you? The bed to your left, right when you walk in, is my middle son's bed. Is that her? She's got a. Anyway. Is it okay if we sit on the bed, yes, or would you prefer we sit? No, no you can sit on the bed. Whatever you need to do. What I might do, what closet is it right now that y'all are getting this from? Far the far left, or I'm in front of my oldest son's room. Or bed. The one I, when I told the you that I felt one drawn one. to. Yeah, that's the one, one we were getting hits at. It that's was. One I, that's the one I felt drawn to. We got almost an orange, almost a red, almost a red. and some serious cold spots. <clears throat> and I'm going to open that closet door. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, I'm only going with her. And use the night vision. Okay. Becky, you can sit right here at this table. Y'all can sit over here too. Do mm -hmm. you just want one person to ask the questions or do you want everybody to ask? It doesn't matter. All right. Now, Thanos, I'm going to tell you when we ask these questions, you ask the question, we have a pause of about 30 seconds before anybody else asks the question. Uh, so we're going to need issues with that time. Huh? Well, no, no, I'm just saying that's where, because by the time I go to ask the question, that's when somebody else asks it. Because it's like you need a timer. <laughs> yeah, because we want to give enough time for the ghost box to generate a, 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 an answer. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's real easy to somebody ask a question and then you've got, you got a question on your yeah. mind and you want to just interject that question real quick. Uh, well, if you're going to be okay, this, there on this recorder is going to be sitting in here in the dining room. And it's going to be recording Becky and whoever else is going to be asking questions. Going to questions. Sit at the table and then we yep, can that's, that's here. Part. That'll be easier to film. Uh, yeah, yeah. All together. Becky or whoever else is going to be asking the question. And I've got Cindy in the back boy's bedroom with uh, headphones and the ghost box. So here we go. I'll let you know when we're ready. Is there an energy in the room where the boys sleep in this house? If so, say something. I thought I heard which way. Are you wanting the family 
that currently resides in this house to leave. I also thought I heard to get out. Have you scared people out of this house before? I also thought I heard get out. Joe. While they were sitting at the table, they had an EMF meter spiked all the way to red. Listen to the response. Heard red. What is the family name of the original family that built this house? Check. Just as suddenly as it started, the spirit box went silent with static, not revealing any more information. We decided to end this part of our investigation. I don't know what it is today. July the 8th, 2017. There's a flashlight there. And that box there, make all those pretty lights come on. It makes a sound, but it won't hurt you. So can you talk to us with that? Answer some questions for us? Are you a child? to us? Don't be afraid. We won't hurt you. We just want to talk to you. Come on out. You're in the closet. I see you. Play with the flashlight and, and uh, that box. Make the pretty light. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Very, very good. See how easy that was? Now can you uh, make it flash like that again and tell us if you're a little boy? Are you afraid of us? Are you? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We will not hurt you. We just want to know who you are why you're here okay can you make it flash again please forget by that box over there because it makes it makes some pretty lights it does make a noise but it, it won't hurt you it should be fun to play with are you a little girl So let's set it up like this. The little flashlight we're going to say is the yes one. And the other one with all the other pretty lights is the one that's no. Do you understand that? No? Are you trying to play with the little boys in here? Don't be afraid. Okay? Hello, where'd you go? Are you still over there? Yep, yeah, thank you. Setting. They're, they're using that just to all of it, I guess. Did you just touch me on the back? Why don't you make that noisy one go off? I want to hear it. I forgot what it sounds like. I know. Do this for me. See if you can whistle loud enough for us to hear. Do you 
you stay in the closet. Are you afraid of somebody? Hi. Thank you. Who are you afraid of? Yes, you're afraid, but let's see, how, how can we do this? Um, the one with all the other lights, can you make that come on when I uh, call out the one that you're afraid of? Are you afraid of the man that's here? So it's, it's that big man over there. Are you afraid of him? Yeah? Uh, tell him to be still. He won't hurt you. Did we ever determine if it was a boy or a girl? I think it was a girl. So you're a little girl then, right? Just want to be sure. Are you a little girl? I'm going to ask a question I don't usually like to ask. Are you just pretending to be a child? Come on, be be brave enough to answer. Okay, where'd you go? Do you like to jump rope? Make a noise for us. After Cindy asked the question if it was really a little girl, there were no more responses. She decided to use the spirit box to try to communicate with whatever entity was there. I'm going to show you how loud this is. Don't, don't be afraid. Maybe you'll be able to answer us here. Tell us if you are a little boy or a little girl, okay? And it's going to be loud, but we can still hear you. Can you hear that, little girl? Boy, that was awesome. Huh? Lighting up. And it sounded like a little girl. Oh, how awesome. So your little girl, are you about, oh, six years old? Can you tell us your name? Can you say it again? I think I heard you, but I'm not quite sure what you said. Now, are you a little girl, or is there someone else here besides the little girl? Who else is here besides the little girl?
you're looking for the one store you can trust to have the exact battery you need right when you need it, whether it's for your car, riding mower, motorcycle, laptop, smartphone, watch, plus light bulbs for lamps, floodlights, can lights, appliances, all topped off by helpful experts, it's easy to see why nobody else stacks up to batteries plus bulbs. Did I mention we also repair smartphones? Batteries plus bulbs. Trust the plus. Make your business stand out from the rest with the help of the affordable sign guys. They offer so much at the right price. That includes custom signs, real estate signs, yard signs, door fronts, buildings, custom banners of all sizes, full and partial vehicle wraps, car magnets, decals, shirts, hats, jackets, bags, and other apparel, and more. They can print most anything. For more information on what they can do for you, call 254-300-1516. Gizmo Brewery has the largest selection of paint ball guns and accessories. It's the only store that has its own field, so call them to plan your next party or event. They have the largest selection of airsoft guns in Central Texas. They also carry a large assortment of martial arts weapons, swords, and knives. Ghost! We have the largest selection of ghost hunting equipment in Central Texas. Gizmo Brewery, 3302 Franklin Avenue, Waco, Texas. again what your name is would you tell us again please I know we keep asking you but we can't quite understand you can you please tell us your name again I don't hear little girls names but I keep hearing somebody say Jake okay what just flashed is there a man here too? Does somebody make you stay here?
Why are you in the hall and not in here talking to us? <coughs> so I just touched my hand. Come out, come out, wherever you are. We need the light to come on again. We, we need to see where you're at. Was that you in the hallway? Y'all did hear that, didn't you? Heard something. Yeah, there goes a light. Is there more than one here? Yeah. Is there more than two here? Tell us how many are here on this thing. Talk to us, please. Do you know who we are? You're still here. Light that up for us again. Make pretty lights all the way up to red if you can. I'm going to count to five. Do it when I say five. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. Tanner came by and said that he had a call here one time about scratching on these windows here. Did you scratch on the windows? Huh? <laughs> so you're back. You come back with the big man? Yeah, it feels different here yeah. now. Whoever's in here went with you when you went that way. You like the big man? Do you feel safe with him? <laughs> well, the they were scared. Mm -hmm. See, he's not so bad after all. Are you afraid of me? Nah, stick my phone out at you. Nah, 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 nah. 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, I just get my pressure head up just all of a sudden. You hit me in the head? Make my head start hurting a little bit? Uh, why? Because I stuck my tongue out at you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologize. You accept my apology? Well, we're going to go for a little while, and we're going to let all the men come in here and talk to you. Don't be afraid of them. They're nice. Is it all right if we might come back and talk to you later? Okay. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Don't be afraid. You, there's no reason to be afraid. But there is one thing. Don't, don't scare the boys, okay? Will you do that for me? Will you promise to be nice? And just play with the boys and be, be a nice person? Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you for talking to us. Join us in the next video when Daryl, Matt, Tanner, and the homeowner, Joey, head to the back bedroom next to the boys' room where the original owner of the house died in bed. They are going to try to contact the entity or entities that are scaring the children. Are you experiencing any unexplainable noises or activity in your home or office? Or do you know someone who does? Please contact us at 254-749-749. 
5839 or you can email us at mcpi at live.com.